Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com, and I want to show you how easy it is to install Java on Windows. As you can see, I've got the Adoptium website up here, and they've got a beautiful button that says download the latest LTS release of the JDK. The JDK comes with Java, a Java virtual machine, and a bunch of tools that developers can use to compile code and package application. So whether you just want to run Minecraft or whether you actually want to run Tomcat and develop applications, this is the best Java installer to download. Now, as you can see that download has completed. How big is that open JDK install? It's about 164 megs in size, not too big at all. All I have to do to install Java is double click on this Java installer and it comes up, it says, welcome to Eclipse Tamarin JDK with Hotspot 17. Uh, the name is a little intimidating, but under the covers, it's just a distribution of the open JDK. There's a few things you can configure here. Notice that when you install Java, it says, do you want to install Java to the path? Yes, you do. Do you want to associate Java jar files with this Java installation on Windows? Yes, you do. Do you want to set Java home? You definitely want to set Java home on Windows. So I'm going to enable that. I'm going to leave the JavaSoft Oracle registry keys left unselected. Now, one other thing that I'd like to change is just the location of where the Java JDK with Hotspot is installed. So over here, I click on the Browse button and I move away from program files. I don't like that default installation directory for Java. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search on my C drive. I got a folder called underscore tools and I'm just gonna install it into Hmm, what would be good? JDK-17 works for me because it is Java 17. We're installing on Windows here. I'll click OK. And now I think I've got all of the Java install configuration settings set. I'll click Next. I'm going to click that Install button because that's what I want to do. I want to install Java on Windows. And look at this with the old 10 year old i7 processor java is installed in windows in seconds now i click finish and how do i know that java was installed well there's a couple of ways to do a confirmation you can do it in the dos prompt you can do it in powershell i always like to just make sure that well i like to make sure that java home was set properly so in the dos prompt you can just do echo Java home, got to have the percentage signs on either side there, and that will just echo Java home back to me. Now, why did it do that? Well, it did that because you got to stop and start your DOS prompt uh, after you have done your installation. So if I run that again, Java echo percentage Java home percentage Boom, now it gives me the right information. Uh, the other thing you wanna do is just confirm that the Java path was set properly. So that's another echo, just do echo path. And boom, you should see that, well, that the JDK install directory, the bin directory specifically is listed there. So there we go, we've got the JDK installed as well. And then finally, you could just ask the whole JDK what version is running. So I'm just going to say Java dash version. And if this spits out an actual version number, well, this tells me that Java was installed on Windows successfully. It even tells me that it's running the open JDK version 17 from Eclipse Tamarin. So it's all working really, really well. Now, by the way, you might want to do this in PowerShell. Uh, in order to echo Java Home in PowerShell, it's a little different. You say echo, and then it's dollar sign env colon Java Home. Now, this window was open before I installed Java, so right now I get nothing back. But again, you know, those settings are only, only read the first time PowerShell or the DOS shell comes up. So if I open up the window again and say echo, dollar sign env colon java home well there we go we actually get an output 
in Windows PowerShell about the location and the directory in which we installed Java. But there you go. In only five minutes or so, I have shown you how to do a complete and total install of Java. Honestly, it's really not that hard to install Java on Windows. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials on Java, Jakarta, Java EE, DevOps, Git, Enterprise Development, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And please, why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?